Well, I've been busy. Um, busy with RC cars, busy with many things. But uh, it's been a little while since I made a video. I've been working on a car. This has actually been quite a bit of work. It's more work than most of my cars because I started with this MF01X Beetle rally car and about half of it came from this kit and the other half is parts that would fit a WRO2 or a GF01 uh, comedy, comedy car like this Cumamon tractor. And I've made a hybrid of the two the uh, GF01 WRO2 and the MF01X and here it is. This is my MF01 Extreme. Um, we're going to take a look and I will put down in the video description all the parts and we'll go over how to build your own. So stick around. So here it is, it's the car, and if you're familiar with these cars, you'll notice a couple things right off the bat. Uh, the wheels are big, and they're kind of wide, so you can see that right there in that video. Uh, right there on your screen, is set really wide. Um, so I'll take the cover off, I'll take the shell off, and uh, we'll take a look inside. It is painted with copper, this is not orange, it is beautiful, and backed in bright silver. Uh, Tamiya copper paint. So I did my uh, Optima Mid in copper and I've done this one in copper as well. I've also done the, the blue windows. I really think the blue and copper pop. So let's get a closer look and see what I've done to create this this car. As always I'm very proud of the paint and proud of my sticker work. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Um, so I got some stickers actually from MST kit. So I put a few of those on it. I think it makes it look quite unique. And some stickers from some other kits. So so we got my four four by four off-road. So this is built as more of a uh, off-road capable vehicle than a rally car. Rough shot rod is the driver. It still says bug rally on the plates though, because I thought the plates are really nice. But all in all. It's more of an off-road uh, vehicle, albeit with independent suspension. Let's take out the body clips. Now to keep the the body nice and tight and not rattle, I put some rubber rings over them, which is nice. So you take a look inside. The windows are blue, and everything is backed in bright silver. So it does come out to be quite a nice uh, paint job. I did screw up one little bit there on the edge of the window. I just noticed the mask didn't quite go around. I could put the decals that go around the windows on, but I always find they're hard to get on straight, so um, we'll just leave it like that. It's pretty good. I'll put that aside. So here is the uh, car, and I went the reason this took so long to build is because I had trouble building the suspension. So I'll explain what I've done. So the central part of the car is the MF01X. So the battery holder, the drive shaft, the gear boxes, etc. So the central part and the bumper and the uh, transmission. So that's all the MF01X stuff, but the arms and everything goes on are actually for WRO2 and I've bought Hot Racing. So I'll link to all these parts below. Um, so these are for the GF01 or WRO2 and they're wider. They're about half a centimeter wider. So it's, it makes the, uh, the track quite a bit wider. So I've upgraded those. So all these parts are for the 
for the GF01 um, and the back ones are wider still because the chassis is narrow so it makes the car wider should make it more stable um, so a few other things I did upgrade to aluminum GPM uh, shock mounts that's not necessary but I've done it front and back originally I'll show it in a picture here I had the wide mounts on the front as well and I was running different shocks I'm, and I couldn't get the suspension to work right but right now it is actually nice and supple I can do a little drop do a higher drop so nice and supple suspension and there's a bit of um, sag in it as well so I think it'll dry really nice so the shocks that are on it are 60 millimeter uh, yeah racing shocks and it's got quite a light oil and I put the three hole pistons in so the suspension is quite nice um, I have put a GPM uh, I don't know what you call these studs um, bolts because the, uh, the MF01X doesn't come with these because it has a different setup so I need to buy those separately so I got those on nice blue and I have GPM uh, C CV joints and some GPM uh, hexes as well so a lot of GPM parts there I do have a new NROM which is like a no-name uh, aluminum uh, servo saver and some GPM arms that I found on uh, they're for a different kit but they fit they're the right right length for steering on the back the suspension is quite a bit different so originally the uh, struts or stays that are for the rear suspension actually mount up here and with the longer arms and the way these uprights work on this kit um, the MF01X have an extension so they come out kind of straight um, but the way the uprights work um, it didn't really work out so I picture that I actually built the rear end with with an extension I've done this several ways and then I got this yeah racing uh, rear suspension mount kit that bolts on and it gives you really short you should be able to see on this side gives you really short uh, stays in there they're only a couple centimeters long um, but the suspension works quite well um, so originally I had hot racing shocks on I had it a bit wider you notice in the in the picture it looked quite a bit different it just didn't uh, work oh I should mention some other GPM upgrades so I have put the aluminum motor mount because we're going with a 17.5 turn quick run 3650 and I thought that this 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 part of the mount would actually match if it was the same color and looks pretty nice so I put that on as well I think that's all for the upgrades um, but originally I had kind of expensive hot racing shocks I want to show those to you I had these hot racing GFO1 internal spring shocks now they're really strong and they did look quite well look they did look quite good but they're 65 mil millimeter and it overextended the uh, suspension arm and then they get stuck so they'd be stuck and they take some knock to move it gave it a bit more clearance but the suspension was really poor basically these were maxed out pulling down everything was under stress and the suspension didn't really work well so I took those off on the front I had the wider mount so as you can see I've bought a few parts that I'm not using I had the wider mount for the front we put the shocks out quite a ways but it didn't really benefit uh, the ride they work quite well in the middle um, and on the back I did have these GPM extensions that would bring up the mounting point for the strut uh, quite a bit higher um, but they're not made for the GF01 or WR02 they're made for the MF01X and my uprights weren't those uprights so they didn't really work so I had those on for a while as well so I bought a few parts um, that in the end I don't end up using 
I must say I was a little nervous about the yeah racing shocks because yeah racing I find is hit or miss on quality um, but these are nice these are very supple or supple <laughs> um, these are very nice and I would say they are as nice as almost as nice as Tamiya shocks um, but just a bit longer so we get some nice clearance now for the servo I'm running an OMG uh, 20 kilogram pro servo I find those are quite good for the money and my ESC is actually a hobby wing um, but it's a rebuilt hobby ring and it's called T-Rex brushless so it's a quick run hobby wing with an upgraded fan different heat sink uh, different switch and an awful lot of capacitors so there's four I mean see them mounted in there four capacitors and it can run up to 4s so it's quite quite a, quite a beefy uh, ESC I think it's from the company rocket it is branded rocket and is branded t-rex um, but it is a uh, quick run actually um, so there we have it that's the car so there we have it that's the car it's quite nice I uh, Somehow, just filming, I broke the mirror off already. I wasn't even going to drill the holes for mirrors. Um, okay, so that's already broke. Before we drive it, we have our first damage. I don't know how that got done. Um, the other one is fine. This one is snapped. Uh, Alright, mirrors. They usually last until I drive the car. This time they haven't, they haven't quite made it. So there it is. It is beautiful. Um, if you do want to build it, uh, I should mention the wheels. There's one thing I forgot. These tires are standard Tamiya truck tire size. These are 1.55, I believe. Um, these are these you can find them on uh, Alibaba or something. In China, they're branded New Enron, and so so the rims are steel, and then the tires come with foams in them. Um, but they're just standard Tamiya truck tire sizes. So if you have a CCO1 or a CCO2, they'll probably have this size. A CCO2 might not, but a CCO1 will have this size of uh, tire on it. Um, they are steel rims. They are quite nice. I did buy some for my Grand Hauler as well, new Enron stuff. So it's decent quality. Um, should add a bit of weight low down, and that should help the car uh, not flip. And also, I should mention, the rear diff is not locked, but it's almost locked. So I've put Tamiya putty in there. Tamiya gear differential putty. Um, and I put a lot. So it's just this, if you've ever seen it, what's nice about it, it's extremely sticky and gooey. Um, I hope that'll focus. But what is nice about it is it will really stiffen up. It's like a semi-open diff now. So it'll save the gearbox, but I put so much in there, it doesn't want to have a rear diff. The front is still open. Okay, I don't know if you can see it's going opposite, but the back is pretty much locked unless a wheel gets jammed and then the other one might move a little bit. Um, some people uh, put epoxy or something and they lock up those diffs but the gearbox is plastic I'm running 17.5 turn brushless which I think is pretty good we'll run on 2s um, but I think I'd rather have my diff turn a bit than strip the gears out of the gearbox um, so that's that's the build if you want to build one yourself it is kind of expensive but in the end since Tamiya sells you know the wro2 and the and the gfo1 and they make all the arms the the plastic ones that come with the kits it'd be really easy for tamia to simply um make an extreme version of one of these cars because they have all the molds they can just put it all together it all fits so they could come up with a variation themselves pretty easily uh it's just the couple bags or a couple couple trees part trees that would be different so I hope you like this it should work it should drive pretty fast 
and it should climb relatively well. These tires aren't the grippiest tires, but much better than the rally tires that come with it. They're tiny. Simply tiny. Um, so it has quite a bit of ground clearance just because of the bigger wheels. If anybody wants these, hit me up. I'm not going to use them. So one other thing, before we go outside, before we go uh, film this car, we will be filming with uh, an Insta360 RS, one RS, with a nice uh, road uh, mic on it. I don't like GoPro. If you've seen a few videos, I complain about GoPro 11. So I'm gonna. I bought this. We'll be trying this out when we film outdoors, and hopefully the Insta360 is better. I had it out in the mountains and uh, hiking. It was 38 degrees out and filming for a half hour, and it did not overheat. So that's the problem I have with GoPro 11. It's always overheating. So we'll try out the Insta360. So hopefully pretty good footage with that. So, without further ado, let's get at her. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's nice and quick.
looks good. A little bit of dirt on it. That's how it should look. Car. All right, um, success. We haven't broken it. We've damaged the front bumper a little bit by ramming into things. Um, I need to put a heavier spring set in the front. And fortunately, the uh, racing shocks come with heavier springs. I can also use a different oil. Um, that's about it. The back back suspension works great. I think the diffs are still diffs are still locked up in the rear. Um, massive success. It works better than I, uh, it works better than I expected, actually. And this paint job is killer. I'm going to praise the paint color. Um, beautiful. Tamiya copper, back in silver. So, very expensive build, actually. All those upgrade parts I list down below in the description cost more than the original kit. Um, but very pleased and I think Tamiya should um, why don't they make make this kit they could make and sell this I think it'd be a huge hit off-road Baja Beetle because it's definitely not no longer a rally car all right guys thanks for watching I hope you like this um, we'll have more coming in the future so until then like the video Subscribe because we need those and uh, catch you later.